God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, August 15th. Today's devotional is based on the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 1 to 6. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people, it is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of the lands where I dri- I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as a king, and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety, and this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Douglas King. So how do we live in response to this hope we have been promised? The receipt of this powerful gift of hope comes with responsibility. Our knowledge of this gift changes the entire landscape of our reality. We are no longer bound to the fears of an uncertain time. We shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The first way we wisely use this power is by sharing it. The steadfast promise of God's deliverance is one to be shared. We are called to share our knowledge of this powerful promise by word and deed. If we believe that a shepherd is on the way who will lead us in the ways of justice and righteousness, we need to be preparing for his, their arrival. What better greeting would there be for this shepherd of righteousness than to be living in the ways of God's righteousness as best we can in this time and place? Sometimes when we receive the promise that God will bring deliverance, we mistakenly believe we are removed from the pursuit of improving our current condition. On the contrary, we need to be deeply engaged in the world, doing all we can to prepare for the arrival of the shepherd. But in the midst of our very best efforts, we are to be ever mindful that it is the God the God who will raise up for David a righteous branch. We stand strong in the promise of God's redeeming work as we seek to be faithful in the work, in the work we do for justice and peace for all of God's children. And we're left with this question. What examples of deep engagement in the world do you see in the congregation of which you are part? Let us pray. Faithful Shepherd, help me to be a strong presence, active in your redeeming work in this world. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you had a safe and joyous weekend behind you. Until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That through your words and through your actions, the world knows that your heart is open and sharing the message that love is love. God bless.